Joining us now is the sponsor of this new legislation and the leading voice on this issue in Congress for many years, Senator Jean Shaheen, senior member of the Senate Foreign Relations and Armed Services Committees. Senator, thank you so much. You and I have been talking about this a lot, but now you've got legislation. And this would create a, a White House National Security Council post. Um, they have someone appointed now, but this would make it statutory to oversee the response, the medical access, government-wide. Uh, is not what Bill Burns, the highly regarded CIA director, just did to appoint someone for his agency to try to find out what's happened here. This is a veteran CIA officer who we understand uh, was deeply involved in the bin Laden hunt, so has a great success record. That's not good enough? Well, I'm very pleased at the work that Bill Burns has done. I think we all very much appreciate that. But this legislation builds on what we did in the defense authorization bill that was just passed out of committee. It not only sets up that interagency position, and unfortunately, certainly under the previous administration, and while we're seeing a lot of progress under this administration, um, too often there's been uh, a siloed approach to dealing with this. It's been different based on which agency the um, public employees are in. And so this is an effort to try and improve coordination, to try and set up reporting to Congress so that we have a better sense of what happens and so that um, we know that everybody who has been affected is being treated in the same way. Now, the, the latest scientific studies seems to point towards directed energy, uh, microwave energy, and that is, uh, that is technology that really started in terms of uh, the investigations into it, the research, back in Russia in the 1970s. Is Russia still a, a leading suspect, I should say? Well, as you point out, this is really Cold War technology. And we know that Russia is one of those countries that has the capacity to do these kinds of directed energy attacks. Uh, there are some other countries that we think also fit into that category. But certainly as we look at what's happened around the world, Russia's at the top of the suspect list. Uh, do you think it's time to take Havana off the suspect list and let diplomats go back there? Our embassy has been vacated since, 19, since uh, 2017. I do think we should put our diplomats back in Cuba and that we also not only need to be doing everything possible to address the the impact that this has had on our diplomats and our other um, other representatives of the U.S. government, but we need to get to the bottom of who's doing this. And so part of what our legislation hopes to do is not just look at providing treatment for those people who are affected, but also putting funding into the investigation into who's doing it and how we can prevent it. Have you seen evidence that there are more cases? I know there was a cluster of cases reported in Vienna just in recent months. Right. Um, well, as you point out, when we started working on this, we, we've been working with between 15 and 20 people who have been affected. As you point out, the list now that's publicly acknowledged is up to over 200. So we know that more people have been affected. That's part of the reporting um, effort on what's happening because getting information is often not very well coordinated and it's not as forthcoming as I think I and other members of Congress would like. Uh, you're clearly trying to do something with this legislation to change that. And there have been right. some reports, a handful of cases reported actually in the, in the U.S., even near the White House. Have you corroborated Correct. any of those reports? Um, I have seen the public reporting of those cases. I, I can't report on what I've heard in a classified situation. And again, that's why there is bipartisan support to have more information made available, not just to members of the, our administration, our various agencies who have been affected, but to members of the public. And what, what I would like to see is uh, a process so that everyone knows how to report if they think they've been affected, what they need to do, and that that should be um, across the board in our government so that everybody has that information. Well, thank you so much, Senator Shaheen, what you're trying to do to shed daylight on something. And I know there have been classified briefings that you certainly can't discuss, but obviously there's a lot, of, a lot going on behind the scenes. There thank is. you very much.